kicked off the roster again, Angelo. First direct replacement with Ember. That was a good episode, though. Right? Got to hear about those two fellas swooning over their fathers. Right? About how they were the smartest men they knew. And they couldn't understand how they voted for someone different. The two smartest men them knew. <laughs> those two Einsteins couldn't figure out how someone voted differently than they. Then Bruce gonna play the banjo in my band. I like that fella, I miss him. This time he replaced me with Ziggy. He had to meet the affirmative action number. Uh -huh. Happy birthday to Alexandra Daddario. The love of my life. The one that got away. Waiting on Sabrina to get that poster so I can tell you all the story. Hey, watch your mouth, goddammit. Okay. <laughs> Angela, I started a new Ultimate Foosball League. It's teams of two, games end at 11 or double knockout. Right? You wear 12 ounce gloves, one hand must remain on the spinning things. Kicks are allowed, but you gotta wear shin guards. We're not savages. Imagine the uh, legacy that Harvey Weinstein could leave behind. Right? One of the most vile pieces of... Or, you could say, yes, we did that, and here's who did it with me. Imagine the legacy one fella could leave behind. Right? Show, show behind the curtain. Show the monster that Oprah went for years. Right. Oh, but you get a Cadillac, and you get a Cadillac. Right. I remind you that Jeffrey Epstein was one of the greatest philanthropists in American history. Careful who you put your face into. Y'all hear that Joe Biden's dog got kicked out of the White House? <laughs> hear about that? Joe's like, no one puts their mouth on anyone around here but me, Buster. <laughs> Or Spot, you know the name. I like that one a little bit better than the laughter I got. <laughs> Fuck Meghan Markle. Thirsty heifer. That's what they called her in LA. That's what, I didn't make it up. That's what they called her. She put in a complaint against my YouTube channel. <laughs> I guess she wanted the attention of my three subscribers as well. <laughs> Billionaires take advantage of the system, and the government takes advantage of the people. The greatest Ponzi scheme in the history of the world. Imagine if someone was like, hey, you know what? Let's do a $175 billion bill. All that money goes to the checks and the vaccines, period. Could have been three sentences and like 75 signatures and you pass it through, but who matters the most? Certainly ain't us. Y'all ain't cool like me. Y'all can't rock a snap bracelet. What's up? Y'all ain't some like 1986 school. What's up? Hit with that snap bracelet. Donald let me borrow this shit. Any of y'all watch Scandal, the TV show? Sexy old Olivia Pope. What's that show about? Rigging election systems to change and alter an election. If you knew how many retired CIA agents and Secret Service agents worked in Hollywood, you wouldn't be surprised. Art becoming life or something like that, vice versa. Why is it always, hey, something about some man being all handsy and shit, and never about how easy it is to win an Emmy? They had to change the name of the talk. Sharon Osbourne says something, they changed the name of the talk. Hey, shut your mouth. <laughs> change the name of El Paso, Texas. To El Free Paso to Texas. Come on in. <laughs> Got rid of Speedy Gonzalez. Chief Wetzel. Even the mulatto skunk. All right. The whitewashing of America continues. Making new flight suits for women. Y'all hear about that? Making new flight suits for women. Flight suits for pregnant women. 
How about a flat suit for African Americans? A little more crotch space. <laughs> you can have some of mine, and you can have it. We just make something for everybody. I'm sure that's what they were all worried about when they took an oath to serve. Like, I want to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. But can we make it a little bit cute first? Can we make it cute before we go? Have to put our lives on the line. I bet y'all Princess Di wishes that's what Meghan Markle would do. It's a joke. They say you can't make jokes about people who are suicidal. I said everybody deserves a joke. And besides, I think people who are suicidal are successful. And everyone else just wants attention. I think we should have the Border Olympics. Right? Got a wall covered in Vaseline with a moat full of gators in front of it. 200 yard landmine in front of it. Whoever makes it over the wall lands 10 feet short of America. When they get there, they compete in the decathlon of skills. Everyone else gets catapulted back down there. Take the top 6%. 6% of all illegal immigrants add positively to the fiscal impact of America. So why not take the six best and help us out for a minute? Why can't America get a win? I thought I had a joke in here for you somewhere. <laughs> I was on some bullshit for a minute. All right, thank you. Good night.